Okay guys, what is up? My name is Daniel. And I just got this new key. It's called a a password reset key. Basically what you do is you plug this key into your computer and you can basically reset any password, go into any computer, you can clone your user, you can do all sorts of things. And I just got it off Amazon for like $24 or such. This is what it's supposed to look like. It's supposed to be the second edition. And it can reset any Windows computer. And I'm going to show you how this is going to work. So first of all, I already tried it once, so it works perfectly. So first I'm going to create a password. And this new password is going to be, let's say, uh, test, T-E-S-T. -E okay? And to show you, I'm going to show you over here. And this is not going to be my actual password when I end this video. T E S T. That's what I have. And password hint will be whatever I'll just put. Test because you know, just in case. And we're gonna click next. Mm, okay. Uh test one. There. I'm gonna click next. Uh, okay, uh, how about, uh, hello? Okay, that works. And this is my, gonna be a local account. We're gonna finish. Gonna change my password, and there we go. That is it, that's my local account. Now we are gonna go off here, and go back into my settings. And I'm going to X out of here, and let's say I just want to lock myself out completely. Lock out. Lock it. Click it, and I don't know where my password is. Aw. Oh, okay. So what are we going to do? We're going to shut it down. And before we reset it, we can do it even if it's shut out. We're going to take the key. And we're going to put it into any USB slot you have in your computer. So dun, 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 dun. There you go. Now, if it's shut down, you can just put the key in and then restart, and then turn on, but we're going to restart it. We're going to restart it anyways, and here it is. We're going to restart it now. And now we wait. And once the screen goes black, we're going to press the key, or whatever F key you have, to go into the boot menu. menu. For mine, is F12. So once it starts to go black, I am going to press F12. And there are no cuts, so this will work. I'm just gonna start pressing it. You can probably see me in the background in the black. So I'm pressing it, pressing the F12. Just repeatedly until my boot menu comes up. Any day now? Maybe if I wait a little bit. I'll get a little bit. Now try it. There we go. And this is my boot menu. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go into Enter Setup, and this is my setup. Go 1 terabyte hard drive, 12 gigabytes of RAM, Toshiba satellite laptop, and we're going to go, we're going to do the, the arrow keys, and we're going to go to security, we're going to go to security, we're going to go down to secure boot, and if you don't know what that is, that's basically, you know, just check to make sure which it's going to boot into, we're going to disable this. So, the reason I'm disabling it is so I can change uh, the system configuration for legacy, because that's what you want. You don't want uh, the other one, which is UEFI. You don't want that. You want uh, CSM, or legacy, to boot into. So we're going to change that. We're going to press Enter, and change it to CSM boot, or legacy boot, or however it says. And then we're just going to press Escape to get out. And then we're basically set. And normally you do switch the two to the first spot, but we're not gonna do that. So now we're just gonna go to exit. We're gonna exit and save changes by pressing enter. And then we're gonna click yes. And now we're gonna quickly hit the F12. This should lead me back into the boot. That's really fast. 
and now we're going to boot using the flash drive. Now the flash sticks, I haven't taken it out yet. This is where we're going to be. This is the USB, we're going to hit flash drive. And now we're being loaded into the boot menu. Now we're high. Now we are waiting for it to boot up. Now the key is still in the uh, the key is still on the computer. I haven't taken it out. And if you yeah. notice, that's an old Dell computer, the uh, Dell Inspiron 530, I believe. Yeah, 530. It's a really old one. Maybe a few years old. Still holds Windows Vista. Okay, now it pops up. Sorry. And once it does pop up, we're going to wait for it. It's going to look little purple, but for you, it's going to look blue. And there you go. Password reset key 2.1. And you can basically go into explore. You can uh, explore your C drive, which holds basically all of your files, the users that are connected to it. And such we can go back up here can't open any files though and that's the second part you can change the registry in your computer you can open up the command prompt uh, check out a uh, file recovery but it's not uh, the device is not ready so I don't know why it doesn't do that or you can connect your own computer to it or you know check the internet connection and such and basically what you're going to do, you have a reset, you have the user info, so we click this here, this is the user info. We'll give you the name, and remember this does not reset Windows Live passwords. This is only for the computer, the Windows computer itself. So we're next to have here, it's an old photo of me a few years ago back. You can clone the user, so you can completely, if you can't strip the password, we can clone the entire user, create a whole new user account, but without the password, so you can just log in, and we can delete the other. And there's also force unlock. Now force unlock, if the reset password doesn't work, we can force it to unlock. But we're not going to do that, so click it. Click reset password, and it'll say password is successfully reset. Now we're going to press OK. Now after this, do not take the key out uh, when you are uh, going to reboot the computer. We want to reboot it while the key is still in the computer. So we're going to reboot and quickly press F12, which will load into the boot menu. There we go. We're going to go back and enter setup. And now we're going to just uh, revert our changes. Uh, we're going to go, where is it? System configuration under advanced. We're going to change the CSM back to U UEFI. We're going to press escape to get out. We're going to go to boot. And this is still in the same spot, so that's good. And you want to enable secure boot. And this is where it was before. And now we're just going to exit and save the changes. And now it's going to boot normally. From this point on, you can remove the key now. We're going to remove the key. Okay. There. Key is removed. Now before I used to use a, a reset key disk or um, a certain way to get into computer, take a half an hour to an hour. This takes only a couple minutes. It's pretty good. And after you've done that, it should load into my user without the password. Any time now. Any day now. I wish my computer was faster. There we go. And I'm being logged in straight away without the password. And from that point on, I should be in my computer without the password. And I'm in my desktop, and just to show you, here's my desktop, and everything's loading in. I'm just waiting for it. Waiting for it. There we go. We're gonna, I'm gonna go to my, I'm gonna go to, uh, my file explorer. You know what? Why don't I, uh, here, we're going to go to control panel. Now, there's two things that are going to pop up once, but, yep, max that out. No, wait, that was the control panel. Wait, 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 I don't know, I don't know. What is going on? Okay, this is the one you want to max out. Except this, use the control panel. And, okay, go here. This time, not going to screw up. Control, 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 da, 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 da. Go to control panel. 
we're going to go to users and accounts. We're going to go to my user and account. And we're going to manage my account. PC is going to open up because I'm having Windows 8. I don't like updating. And then from there, you can create a password. And I have not created a password yet because it's been reset completely. And that's basically it. This is how you're going to be using. And just to make sure that you have no idea what's going on, I have to create a new password. But, and this is my password reset key. You can find this on Amazon. You can find it on eBay, but I wouldn't suggest it. Okay, thanks for hanging out with Dan, and uh, I'll check you later.